Hi, my name is Mel, an Australian ceramicist located in the Hunter Valley of New South Wales. In the year 2022, my family and I decided to pack up a home along with my studio on the central coast and move 45 metres up the road to wine country to build my dream studio where I can teach the art of ceramics. This dream has been in the works for a very long time and I can't wait to share the journey with you along with my crazy family. I inherited this uh, bench off my uncle who was an architect. He sadly passed away a couple of years ago, but he was also really into his woodwork. And this was one of his benches. I grabbed this um, from my mum's house, which was just sitting there. I just thought, it kind of really good handy. It's got wheels. It's got a couple of uh, like shelves. They also come out, like slide out. But I think these come in handy because obviously I'm running out of bench space and just storage. So yeah, I'm really liking it. A little bit more room so I can spread out a bit. Really good for this space, I reckon. And I can just wheel it around if I need to move it out of the way. And I'm also reorganizing my studio again. Just uh, that shelf thing over there. I'm going to move some shelves up and down because, again, I'm running out of room to put all my greenware. I need to put it safe out of the way so no one touches it or breaks it. Also finally got around to unpacking the kiln from these monster mounds. Aren't they cute? turned out really well and then also from the team building workshop that I did in the Hunter Valley so they all turned out I refired some of them as I said in my last video uh, the glaze just didn't quite reach up to temperature still not 100% happy with how they turned out but better than what they were before last week now I've got to pack the kiln for a bisque put all these beads in and I've got to put all these platters and all these mugs in my pyramids. I don't know if they're all going to fit, but I'll try my best. Maybe two bisques. Yeah, it was a bit cracked on that one. I'm hoping it survives the bisque and then I can glaze it to hold it together a bit better. I hate handles. So fickle. They will look good when you put them on and then when they slowly dry, that's when all the imperfections start coming out. You spend so much time and effort on them and you can't even guarantee that they're going to work out. Because I don't throw on the wheel, I don't get the convenience, the really good convenience of having slurry sitting there waiting for me to use. So most throwers will have all this kind of excess water and mud from your throwing which will sit in the tray of your throwing, your pottery wheel and um, then they can they can use that if they want to. Uh, usually you use slurry for um, attaching things so your handles and stuff but as a hand builder and slip caster you have to make your own slurry which I'm just pulling off little bits at a time from some leftover clay that's dried out a bit so it doesn't go to waste and I'm going to let it sit there for a couple of days to really soak in water to give it that really muddy slurry that you need um, yeah pretty much muddy chunky water but you want it quite smooth and easy to kind of uh, slop on to your work you don't want it too hard or too wet you don't want it just to be water you want that really nice consistency So I'm going to make six jars just because I've got a workshop on the weekend and there's a fair bit of people attending. So making up a couple of batches and hopefully that will last me for the next couple of um, workshops. Yes, it is time consuming, but you can break it down. Take your time, put some music on. Yep. I did a bisque firing a couple of days ago and I forgot to show you that I packed it because I was just busy and I just really needed to get it fired. So I'm just opening it now. It's cooled down to a good temperature, so I'll unpack that. I've got some mugs in there and my pyramids, which I'm hoping that have survived. I'll do some glazing maybe in the next couple of days or maybe some today, depending on how I'm going for time. Guess what I'm doing? Yep, you guessed it. 
rolling out a whole bunch of clay. I've got a workshop this weekend, which is literally just around the corner, like literally the next street over. I could walk there if I wanted to. So shout out to Kylie, I'll see you on the weekend if you are watching. It's okay if you're not, but that's fine. But yes, I'm just rolling out a whole bunch of crutches. We've got about 15 people coming along and we're making mugs and platters. I won't train you. So I've just got to have the equipment that his dad has. Correct, correct. I just ran a workshop for 15 people, literally up the road, like um, just the next street, and now I have to unpack their stuff, and they did a lot. So, um, hope you enjoy me unpacking their stuff. Looking good, bud. Are you getting creative? Mm-hmm. Look at all these platters from my workshop I did yesterday. They had a choice between a mug or a platter or both. And there was about 15 people. They did a great job getting creative. And then some mugs over here. I'll let them dry for another day or so, I reckon, before I put a handle on them because they're still very wet. And because it's a bit cold at the moment, they're um, taking a bit while longer to dry. I'll put some weights on these platters and then cover them with plastic just to um, stop from cracking and warping and just slowly let them dry naturally. And that's the plan for today. Blazing day. glazing these mugs with my matte white glaze it's um just a commercial glaze that i just have to add water to it it's from keen ceramics down in gosford so just um yeah it's quite easy just have to add around about five and a half kilos of water uh, because it is a five kilo bag of dry weight um, i'm just going to glaze the inside and tomorrow i'll let them dry for about 24 hours and then i'll glaze the outside I'm just going to test out some of my new glaze that I made uh, last week. That is my just clear glaze. I've just done a little template there. I feel like it's going to be a bit too thick. It was very frothy, like really I had a bit of foam on top. And then I will, um, I'm going to test out this Wonder White as well. See how they go and I'll put it in the kiln when I do my glaze firing. And then I'm just testing some of my leach clear. I feel like I need a little bit more water as well because it's a bit... I don't know if you can probably see it's a bit like bubbly but it dried really quick so that's a really good sign 
um, we'll see it might need a little bit more water if it's a bit too too thick hello ladies my chickens have just wandered in because <laughs> Huxley just started like just panic mode like oh no the chickens are near you can hear them coming from a while away he comes and sits right at my feet don't you Guys are growing really quick. It's a good sign. It does say it needs to be super watery. I've just glazed all these mugs and now they're ready to go in the kiln. I've also got a couple of platters over there that I need to clean the bottoms and then I'll stick them in the kiln as well. Making sure that they're not touching. She touch first, go in as close as I can, and then I'll pull it back. Just so I know they're definitely not touching. That's my method of packing, glaze packing. <laughs> 